now now going to now going to enter into the primary forest itself. Uh -huh. uh, from here to the canopies, it's just a flat uh, level ground. Uh -huh. uh, normally, our tour start from here. We have the entrance, and then the exit from there. Uh -huh. So we are not coming back here. Uh -huh. After the token, we just move straight to the canopy. Uh -huh. Then after the canopy, we take a different direction back. Uh -huh. As I made mention from the beginning, hello. Uh -huh. uh, there are some few formations about the park. Also to let you know how the canopy work will look like before we take your view from here. Uh, Kakum Conservation Area, as Bodo written down, consists with two parts together, which is our Senator National Resource Reserve and then the Kakum National Park. With the total area of 360 kilometers square. Roughly, the resource reserve covers 100 square kilometers, and then the National Park itself covers 260. There are species of mammals here. Made mention of few, we have the forest elephant, Bungu, as the biggest antelope. We have other antelopes like the yellow by daika, Maswa daika, Olobis, Bushbox, crested porcupines. Also, we have the early uh, carnivore, which is the leopard, and it's a very secretive and well endangered. Six species of monkeys, over 300 species of birds, 600 butterflies and 100 amphibians and reptiles. But it becomes very, very difficult to see them around, especially at this canopy area. One, because of the intensive noise on the walkway, has scared them away from this area. Secondly, the vegetation-wise is tropical rainforest, in which most of the species are nocturnal. And at the same time, very uh, uh, territorious. So it becomes very, very, very difficult to see them around. Kakum officially opened as a national park in 1994. But before then, it was one of the areas also demarcated now as hardwood production. And with selective of timber export being done. But no farming activities has ever done inside before. And the name Kakum is a river which the park is named after. And that river supplies over 130 communities around the Cape Coast municipalities, the source of drinking water. So Kakum serves not only as a protected area for wildlife, but also as a watershed for the communities around the Cape Coast municipalities. Activities that Kakums offer while we have the nature walk. The nature walk is like an educational tour on plants, its medicinal, culture, and local values. If you by not seeing wildlife, the oxygen alone, though you are sweating, but with the trees, the oxygen alone is 100% unique. It's not contaminated like in the city's engines of cars and smokes of motorbikes. No. Here is purely hygienic. So even if you have one hour walk here, you will not waste, at least you have an oxygen to replace it. Two, we have bed watching. Bed watching is done early in the mornings and late in the evenings because beds are very active during that time. There is also a tree house. That's the picture of one of those tree houses. There are two of them. Basically, if you want to experience night in the jungle, there's an opportunity <laughs> for you to try being on top of one of those structures. The structure designed on top of trees. I mean, don't the animals come out at night? Oh, no. Well, sometimes, but <laughs> at least they will not come up. Uh, I was about yeah. to oh, you want to so, chance that? This, yeah, it's, that's we do night walk. And, and you want us to take a chance with that one? Yeah. Night walk? I was about to ask about bed and breakfast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we about to bed and breakfast. The only thing <laughs> in bed. And then, the last <laughs> but not the least, we have the canopy walkway that we are going to enjoy this afternoon. The walkway is just a suspension bridge, which is designed within the second layer of the forest, which is the canopy layer. And that is why we name after, we call it the canopy walkway. And that gives you advantage to see how beautiful the forest looks like. Because when you are under the canopy cover of the rainforest, you can't very difficult to see the emerging trees. But on the walkway, roughly you have an advantage of going to the top of the emerging trees at the highest point of 40 meters from the ground. Constructed in 1995, having two experts from Canada supported by six Ghanaians. Very lucky the Ghanaian experts are with us and we are very proud of our maintenance team. 21 years in service, no casualties, no accidents. And I hope you are not going to be the first victim. That's not nice. 
very, very, very secured. You are hundred percent safe. Maximum weight the walkway can carry is eight thousand kilograms, which I know no no human being can withstand that weight. But it wobbles a little, it shakes because it's a hanging thing. When you are on it, you feel that at least you are not walking on the forest floor, but hanging somewhere else. Take it for those who are a bit afraid of heights, they'll be looking around often. Uh, hold to the roofs, stay to the middle. Just withstand the balance because it's, it's just a fun. Uh, don't be looking around, just look ahead of you and then enjoy it. But if you do look down, you're going to see those animals yes. waiting for you, right? Well, yeah. Does it I hope, I hope, yeah. yeah. Oh, it swings to the left and the right, like, you know, I hope, in that, um... I hope you are going to... Like Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. Remember Indiana that Jones? Don't movie? swing for us <laughs> elders. Oh, yeah, yes. No, nah, they're they not going to shake it. Elders. Yeah, it swings, uh, like uh, Indiana Jones movies. I hope you are going you to enjoy it. You got to hold on. You are most welcome. Like the movie, so when it drops... Uh, any question <laughs> somebody wants to ask, maybe one of... Just few, two, or... Are there any snakes? Yeah, 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 use the snakes up we there. We have the snakes, but you pick up one and kiss it. Uh, here is our home one, and then two. When you shake, the I hope snakes you, are very, you are very safe. So uh, snakes normally runs away from humans. Yeah. But be honest, with people. That, they, at home. But there are a few times you see snakes in the trees. So if you shake them, they'll fall down. Oh, well, uh, on your neck. It's that, that is why. That is why. That is why it's not necessary for you to be shaking trees. Why do you know? Like why do that, right? Like, why? That's disrespecting their home. Why do that? No. Okay, shall we continue? <laughs> okay, and this is why.